One of the other ways that you can remember this, this is pretty cool, is what I call the IRV, I-R-V. I represents income, R represents your cap rate, rate of return, V represents value or your purchase price. The way it works is if you have your rate and you divide it by the income, which represents your NOI, you will get your value. If you take your value or your purchase price divided by your income, it represents your R, rate of return. Make sense? Now, if you take your R and you multiply it by the V, it equals your NOI, or what it should be. So, in another scenario where you're looking at a deal, let's say the guy doesn't give you the information so that you can determine what the NOI is. Right? So what would you do based on what I just told you? You have two pieces of the puzzle, you can figure it out. Right. So if you have the purchase price, and let's say the purchase price is 1.2 million. That's what the guy wants. This will be the value, right? Pick a cap rate. What kind of return would you want? Uh, 12. Huh? 12%. 12%. You want a 12 cap? Yep. All right. You got a 12 cap. What are we trying to figure out now? Yeah. What the income should be to justify this purchase, right? So we're trying to find out the NOI. That's the big question. How do we do this? In your head, right? It's 100. Run your numbers. You use your calculator. Let me see. Give me an exact figure. I'm going to get a 12 cap. And the purchase price is $1.2 million. What should my NOI be? A hundred and what? <coughs> Everybody getting at that? 144. <coughs> Is this good stuff? Mm -hmm. All right. So here's the deal, right? You don't know the NOI on the deal. So you really don't have that information right now. But you need to know this, right? So you know if you want to get a 12 cap, <coughs> or the marketplace is usually running at about a 12 cap, you would multiply, which is what I'm assuming you did, at the purchase price or the value and it says that the income should be $144,000 in order for this transaction to work. So now you go to the seller and say, I would be willing to purchase this property at $1.2 million. I'm interested. And I will go to contract if you provide me with enough income information to determine the NOI at this point. But in order for me to submit a real offer to you with a contract and a down payment, I need to know. What do you think the seller is going to do now? provide information or lower the price. Exactly. So he'll probably say, okay, here's some information. Now, does that mean it's accurate information? No. Because trust me, Dallas gave me some numbers and I was like, whoa. When we went to the numbers, I was like, how is this? He is multiplying by 10. You know what I mean? It's, he's <laughs> way off. So again, now though, if you look at the numbers, and let's just look at this figure, right? So we know we need to have 144. What if the numbers are 90? What are you going to do now? If your NOI is 90, <laughs> you won't make a 12 cap, right? The purchase price is 1.2, but the NOI is $90,000. So what are you going to do? Have a good day. Thank you, but no thank you. Call me when you actually get your brain. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yep. Am I going to waste any more time in this deal? No. Now, what if it's at 128? It's worth taking a look at. Take a look at it. Did I say that you're committed and you're going to buy it for that? No. But it's worth going further and looking at it to see exactly where you are. Because there might be a potential to negotiate the figures so that you still get your 12. But you're a lot closer here than if you're at 90,000 and this guy will be